How to install a SSD drive on your PlayStation 5. For my coffee. First things first. Step one, remove the cover. Step two, go to town. So by now we know we can upgrade the PlayStation many ways. We could change the faceplate. We could add RGB lights here, get different color remotes. Cool stuff, right? But that's all cosmetic. And we all know, guys, it's what's on the inside that counts. Aww. And that's where this comes in. This is the WD Black SSD game drive. Now, this right here, guys, in other words, it's storage for your PlayStation. This is going to allow you to take your PlayStation from the 600 gigs that it comes with and go all the way from one terabyte up to eight terabytes. If you go online and you search for SSD drives for the PlayStation 5, you're gonna come up with a whole list, guys. Now, I went with the Western Digital Black. Why? Because, guys, this is the same one that I use for my hard drive. I have one of these hard drives with a case. I don't use the Samsung T7 or none of those. Those are good, but I'd rather just have my own. Now, the one terabyte ran me about $90 when I bought it. Right now on Amazon, it's going for $99. It's still at a discount. All right, so let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys step-by-step step how to get your SSD into your PlayStation and upgrade your storage. First things first, guys, we are going to need a small screwdriver. Nothing big, nothing outlandish. A small screwdriver is fine. Phillips head at that. And... Let's get started. This right here is not the side you want. The side that's the PlayStation logo, that's not the side where it goes. Where you have your game drive right here where the disc goes or where it's more puffy on this side, this is the side where the SSD is going to go. Simply flip it over, push on this corner and pull on this corner. There we go, guys. As you can see, voila, we are in. So once it's open, this is what you're going to be looking at, guys. This is the game drive where the CD goes. This is the fan here. Nothing too crazy. This little slot right here, though, this is where the game drive is going to go. All you have to do is remove this little Phillips head screwdriver, which is why we need our screwdriver. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, guys. Remember. Bam. Right? Pop this open. There we go. And as you guys can see, it looks empty. There's nothing in there. That's where this puppy comes in. Guys, real quick, before we move any further, guys, when you guys go and pick one up, make sure it says game drive with heat sink. That's the one you need with the heat sink. Being that there's no fan that's going to go here, once you put the game drive there, this is going to cover it. There's not going to be much airflow getting in through there. So that's why it's really important to get the one that says with heat sink, guys, all right? With heat sink right here. So let's take this bad boy out. This is it right here. It's really tiny, really small. Boom. Ooh, you see that, mama? That is nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so let's install the game drive then. You see this little tooth right here that you can see has like a small indentation right here? Hold on, let me, oh, there we go. This right here, that right there, you're going to see it in here. Now, once it's in there, that's how you know you're going to put it right. You just line it up with the one that's in the actual PlayStation. You can't mess this up. All you got to do is pretty much line it up. I'll show you guys right now what I mean. So here we are inside the PlayStation, the tooth right there. Let's install it. We're going to grab our SSD. You see right there, everything's lined up. So there's a gap, the gaps, everything here is lined up. The gaps line up and then you push in. All right, guys, it's in. Now you do have to get it at an angle. As you can see, the, the drive is at an angle right here. You do have to get it at an angle. Once it's in there though, you can actually just sit it back down. And now this is another part, guys, really important part. You see the screw right here? This is gonna be used to tighten this right here. So let's take this screw out and put it in right there where the hole is right here. And remember guys, when working with these little screws, these are small screws on a very fragile device. So you don't really want over tighten anything, just hand tighten. So this is the screw right here that I just took out of there. We're gonna move it into here like so. And it should sit nicely, it should, it should line up nicely because again, 
This drive is made for the PS5. Tighten to where you hand tighten. Don't over tighten anything. And there you go, guys. Now our device is nice, tighten, and ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Woo, I'm excited. All right, so let's start this bad boy up. So once that's all said and done, you put in this cover again, tighten it down with the screw you just took out, put on the cover of the PlayStation itself, and we should be good to go. Again, guys, I don't want to stress this enough. Hand tighten only. You don't need to put excessive force on this or none of that. Just like that. Now we get our cover. Slide it back up. Now we have to go to the TV, turn it on, and set up from the TV. Let's go. There you go. Here we go. Okay, so it says to use your SSD, you need to format it. Always format the SSD. It's going to ask you. You can't avoid it. Keep in mind, all data will be deleted. You want to use it without format it, turn it off and remove it. And just that. We're always going to format it. You have to. There's no way around it. So let's just format it. Don't turn it off. It's formatting. It's doing its thing right now. The read speeds of your M2 SSDs as follows. It says uh, 6,281 MBS. That's fine, that's good. It has been formatted. To change where your games inst are installed, go to settings, storage, and installation location. So now, we are out, guys. Let's see, here we go. Kratos, yeah, I saw my boy Kratos. All right. As you can see over here, I had the console space. I'm full. I'm full on console space. I don't have any more space left, guys. So let's just go up to settings, storage. There you go. This is my storage. Now I'm going to click on games and apps. This is where all my games and apps are now going to be. I have one terabyte of free storage in my PlayStation. One terabyte of free storage. All right, and that's it, guys. By the way, did you guys check out these um, the PlayStation 30th anniversary thingies? This is the PS1. Let's just run through them. So now when you get out, you're going to have the PlayStation 1 right here. If you can see that, that's the PlayStation 1. These are just little graphics. Then we're going to do the PlayStation 2. It changes the appearance and some of the sounds for now. For, for a limited time only for the PlayStation 30th anniversary. Now let's do the PlayStation 3 theme. It's like that. If you have a PS3, remember the PS3, you had those swiggly lines. My PS3 got the black screen of death, never came back to life. This is the PlayStation 4 now. This is the PlayStation 4. Pretty cool. Or you can also just choose to not have it, but it's for a limited time. I, I leave it at the 30th anniversary. You were gonna have that, which is gonna be the triangle, square, those options right there. And then also when you turn it on and off, it should um, do a little screen. Yeah, I see. Thanks for being part of this journey. You're welcome. OG PlayStation, ooh, <laughs> Sony, that's the OG stuff right there. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up. Guys, subscribe to the channel again. Happy holidays to everyone. We are in holiday season, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace.